Welcome back to the final drawing of the four part series. I've drawn up my ellipse in my isometric block, which was 60 by 60. I've removed the dimensions just for purposes of seeing the drawing better. Okay, this section will tell you how to duplicate the circle in this direction. What do you do? You've got three points. We've got point number one, point number two, and point number three. If this circle has to go 10 millimeters in this direction, or 20, what you're basically going to do is measure out from this point to the A. Let me just put a point here. There's a point, and there's another point. And these two points, you will carry over by 60 degree triangle. So you'll be going and draw. From this point, you're going to go downwards 60 degrees. So there's the 60 degrees. Let's measure and check. We've got a 60 day. So this exactly is where your points will be. If you need another circle, say 50 millimeters away from this point, from this point or that point, you will then measure 50 millimeters in this direction. Let's say there is my one point, and then you would draw 60 degrees through this point here. I'm just going to touch it on the point and then go down 60 degrees. Okay, you'll be using your set square. It's a 60. I'm just going to delete it for viewing purposes. And I know now that from this distance here to there, We've got a distance of 50. So what this 60 degree line does, it creates point number one and point number two. Let's go. We're going to tangent this circle here and go straight in their direction. Do the same on the other side. These tangents is to, sh to give you an indication. These tangents are to give you an indication where to stop. Okay. So I'm going to take my arc and start from there. Go out. And this shows me where to stop. From that point that way. I'm going to draw a light arc. Let's do the same on the other side. These are all construction lines and from this point where it is 10 millimeters away go out tangent the first arc and then you'll find out it will stop at the tangent on the other side. So now we're going to darken these lines. At your first line, the second one will be drawn from here. The third one. And that's what you have there. And then further on, you will just connect your straight lines. Make sure it tangents both sides. And that's what you have.